Legendary jazz musician Jonas Agwangwa has died. The presidency made the announcement that the trombone player and one of the leading jazz music figures had died earlier today. The 83-year-old is responsible for classics such as Morwa, Homo and Di Fororo. He also composed soundtracks to films like Cry Freedom, which he also performed at the Academy Awards in 1988. Now for tributes on his death, I'm joined by Leslie Mofoking, who is the South African Music Awards spokesperson. Leslie, good afternoon and thank you for speaking to us on uh, what is a sombering moment for all of us. Good afternoon. Thank you for the invitation. It really is a sad day for, for South Africa and really the world at large. But I suppose in losing the maestro, there are many talking points about uh, how accomplished he was. Absolutely. Uh, and Dr. Jonas Mosagwanga was really uh, part of an elite group of musicians that did so much for this country when they were outside of these borders uh, during difficult times. But his trombone worked for him. He was a cultural ambassador. He made the world know uh, you know, the struggle of South Africa of black South Africans, and he did that with great distinction. He was selfless. I mean, for me, it's the end of an era of musicians who really did their best during difficult times and in very um, inhospitable conditions, but they managed to fly the flag and make sure that the world knew about South Africans' plight. So very, very sad day. What a, what a, what a sad loss. And just how much of, a, of an influence was he? On, exist, on current crop of uh, jazz musicians and obviously other musicians in South Africa and obviously across the continent? Well, I mean, you know, I, I need to say that uh, Mr. Gwangwa was a recipient of the South African Music Awards Lifetime Achievement um, Honor. And this was in recognition of the great work that he did and the great influence that he had and, and, and really statement, statementship that he held in the country as a music legend. There are many, many countless musicians who will tell you how they picked up the trombone and were inspired by the sounds and the, and the rhythms that came from and the Demosa Jonas Gwangwa. There are many, many other musicians across the country and the world who will tell you that his, his, his particular way, his own way, his own style, inspired them to become better and to become greater jazz musicians. I cannot give you names. There's countless of them that will tell you that jazz became cool because of what he did and his own interpretation and how he brought African rhythms and, and influences and, and brought our wedding songs, you know, to give them a jazz feel and, and, and a sound that was just Jonas Gwangwa's sound. Leslie, our... Are you aware? Do you have any information on uh, what led to his death? Unfortunately, we don't have that information. We also learned, along with the general South African public, uh, from the statement from the president that uh, our icon was gone. Um, we don't have any more information. Leslie Mofokeng, thank you so much for speaking to us. And may the legend's soul rest in peace.